All right, it is Wednesday, and that means that we have a new store refresh here for the finals. Going into it, we have the Lost Marble set and the Vandal's Edge. This is the current store for the week so far, the IC at least. Um, it looks like they are going to be doing the rolling two uh, updates for the collections. They are currently not looking at doing a full refresh that we've seen yet. Hopefully, they will change that up in the future. So, if you wasn't here for last week, we had the Holtol Fine Print and the Snowflake Point. That's where I was actually uh, reunited with my uh, one of my favorite V9S skins. Of course, it wasn't, you know, for the whole collection. Uh, so, personally, I just, I just really like that clean V9S skin. But we have, as you can see in the very bottom middle, the Lost Marble set and the Vandal's Edge. So, it looks like we have our first, I guess, kind of official... A skin here for the turret and here is it says marble majesty reassure our fans that you haven't lost your marble uh, I think I am playing this game this week. I'm, I'm slowly losing my sanity. All right, so this is the heavy sledgehammer skin here. Looks very, very nice. I think the the, the quality of the game, even though I'm playing on low, the quality of the skin, I guess, um, is just showing how like nice it actually is. It does a lot of dividends for the actual, you know, skins painted themselves. You know, I don't, I don't think this is going to be necessarily a, a purchase from me. Uh, based off of this skin because you know you have the the heavy uh, guitar you have the the heavy um, bamboo and obviously I think you have the the, the heavy uh, diamond sledgehammer as well that's another one if you got diamond um, so a couple of things in there but yeah this one really isn't necessarily for me um, so that is a pass but if you like this got obviously skin you know then it's obviously quite nice all right this is a reskin here for the first uh, turret skin officially and it's the same thing it's obviously not much has changed you have i think it's a scar right with the longer range scope on on, on this for the uh, for the original um turret overall not much has changed again just a little bit of retexturing here a couple of bits of gold on this um nothing crazy so the m11 now the m11 is actually quite interesting because i really really like this i don't know why but it just kind of fits the m11 skin here um i'm really kind of confused about which one i want i don't think the bundle is going to be worth paying 1150 for this on its own and obviously i i last week bought the um the uh whole toll fine print skin for this um, but that's because if I eliminate like someone I know, then I just, you know, we mess around. We'd like screenshot it and we're like, yo, we got you, you know, just, just mess around like that. Um, but yeah, for this one, really, it looks very nice. Might be worth it for you if you kind of like this kind of color theme for your inventory. Uh, but for me, I just personally don't think it's worth it. Looking at the charms, we have Stone Cold for contestants who are cool, controlled, and planning to put their opponents on the rocks. And that's just like a little addition that you can add, which will obviously go with your Marble Majesty skin. And then Busted, Not Broken for contestants who can take a lot of damage. And obviously this is probably for most of us as we're getting, you know, ICBM'd on nukes recently or quite a lot. Okay, well, there, there you go. I did get kind of carried. Yeah, this collection isn't the best for me. I personally not as big of a fan of it. Obviously, it can be good for you if you can find like maybe some good um combinations for this but the m11 here really is the the star of the show for this collection personally i think it looks quite nice all right and then we have the vandal's edge so there's obviously more of a kind of graffiti like rough graffiti theme here um personally i think that this is you know not again not really for me and another thing if it is for you then obviously that's perfect right but i feel like they should either give people like the option of having it scratched or having it like super clean because someone might really like this but they might get put off by the fact that it's so scratched up right that's just personally from me i don't think it's that much of an issue um but yeah this this skin for me actually isn't the isn't the best and i think i thought like there is a skin that's very similar to these anyway um and then we have the vandal's edge here for the revolver again i'm just not really a big fan of it um especially like the bit here in the middle i just feel like the yellow is like kind of off-putting of it i guess i don't know if you guys feel the same way i feel like it could I, I feel like it kind of ruins the the skin but maybe i'm wrong maybe you guys like it you know that's fair so it's your own opinions and then finally the vandal's edge here for the m60 as well um and this is the skin preview right here um as well so again i'm not really the biggest fan these skins kind of feel like battle pass skins if that makes sense right i felt i don't know if you guys agree with me let me know in the comments like what your guys thoughts are on these collections so far but like in my opinion i wouldn't be spending that that for the bundle i would expect it to be kind of like in the battle pass personally but maybe i'm wrong maybe you guys like it and that's obviously fine we have the air cannon is spray paint mightier than the sword obviously a nice little air 
Um, nice little spray can there as well. I like the detail on it as well. I wonder if you could enhance and see what the text says. I have no idea what that says there, but maybe someone can find a way to like play the game in like 400k resolution and then we can zoom in and see it. Yeah, I think this is uh, okay. This would actually, this would go really well with the default skins, right? Because it's like white, uh, because it's like um yellow and black, black and yellow. This would go really nice with the default skins. Uh, hip canister sticker as well. And then finally, the all smiles. Let our fans know that nothing can wipe the grin off your face. So those are the collections this week. I feel like it's, um, you know, again, a little bit more on the underwhelming side because I know that there are some really awesome skin collections that Embark have. Um, some people were saying in the comments, like, you know, what what are you expecting? Basically, if you were here in like the alpha, close beta one, close beta two, and the open beta, there were a lot of uh, other skins that we were actually able to play and purchase um, as a test to use. And uh, some of us are kind of waiting for those skins to come back out because they were, you know, our favorite skins. Uh, my friend, for example, really likes the Fizzy Tiger. So another thing you can say as well, because I'm interested, let me know in the comments, what skin are you waiting for? Because my friend's waiting for the Fizzy Tiger, but I don't know like if there's any other like popular skins that they haven't released yet. But that's pretty much it for this week. Again, it's Wednesday, so only a couple more days to go until the weekend. Um, hope you all are doing very, very well. And uh, I do have an upload coming again very soon with a new series, which is obviously going to be very interesting. And I'm actually going to be helping all of you. And uh, that's, that's the only little hint I'll give you there um, for this series coming soon as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, you guys have been absolutely awesome. As always, I love each and every one of you for coming, checking out my videos, liking and commenting. That's pretty much everything from me for the video today in the store of refreshes for this week on the 10th of January, 2024. My name has been Thix, and as always, I'll see you on the podium.